hi all so in this video we are going to see about dependent drop downs in a it this time the data will be in the database so in uh, my first part of what uh, i have done is like uh, i have created dependent drop downs based on some constants and decision rules but this time what if the data is in database so we we don't want to strike the data and put it in a constant and uh, again refer it instead of that we can directly refer from the database only so let's start building our dependent drop downs okay so first of all let's create a an interface for that okay so interface name will be uh, so what I am keeping is uh, like uh, dependent drop downs part 2 something like this dependent drop down in this dependent drop down I am taking the city name uh, okay or uh, city parks so city and parks uh, I will take two data values uh, first of all we will be able to select a city based on the city we will be able to see uh, different options for the parks okay so let me create the one pages okay so let me take this column here and here we will take two drop downs first one is this one second one is this one so second drop down okay let us name the first drop down first drop down name will be city name so we will be able we will get the city name from the database and in the second we will keep a uh, park name okay we will keep park name okay so for that the data I have already collected for okay so let's see the data so these are the four cities that we are going to add in our database table Delhi Mumbai Kolkata and Pune and each city has some famous parks uh, like uh, this is the park name for Chitranjan Park and city ID is what one one means what Delhi so I have given like a one will be Delhi two will be Mumbai three Kolkata four Pune and similarly like two is here so Mumbai and it is for Kolkata and it is for Pune okay so all these parks I have uh, collected and their IDs are also associated and with the same ID I will insert in database as well so for that like let's create a CDT for the our city name first of all so first of all we will insert the data for the uh, city names okay so let me get the data for city name okay city name and we will name it something as city name drop down okay so all the data will be for the city names we are going to uh, make a very simple CDT for that of only two columns will be there first column will be the ID and the second column will be our uh, city name so ID is there and it will be number in teaser it is a primary key obviously so this is done and then the city name so different city names are here so it will be text by default 255 characters that's fine so city name is done okay so and now what we will do is uh, after the city name is done we will go back to our data store and map the table okay so let's add the entity here and we need something as ys y will be like on the 10th page yes why is city name drop down okay so here name let's give it city name city name is done let's verify it and save and publish so our first table is published so let's go back to our table and put the data okay so i will go to the database and let's search our table here ys so why we have render like ys city name drop down okay and it has uh, two uh, columns city and city name let's insert the data what are the city names i'm going to have delhi mumbai kolkata and pune okay so let's name it here delhi okay mumbai we need okay call and we need one more that is Pune done go so all these four cities has now been inserted into our table that is Delhi Mumbai Kolkata and Pune 
okay that was the city name based on that city name we will get our particular park name as well okay so data is there so let me add the data for the park as well then we will make the query uh, for both of them together okay so let me create another city for the park okay so now city park drop down so based on that we will create drop down for the city parks as well hmm so here we will have to take three column first column will be our id that will be number integer and let's make it a primary key okay hmm done second will be city uh, park or we can just name it a park name that is enough so park name will be of text type and then the third column here will be see every park i have associated with this with a city id okay so if one is there it means all these parks are of delhi if two is there all these parks are of mumbai if three then kolkata and if four then pune like this so i will keep the city id here and that will be number integer that's it let's save our changes here okay let's go to the data store and add the entity so now okay so park name drop down is here okay let's name it park name and verify the entity save and publish both tables have now been published in our database okay so let's search here once again ys so you can see here uh, city name is coming here and park name is as well it is currently empty let's enter the value so let, i will show one or two values then i will enter it for example like chitranjan park is there so let's copy the name chitranjan park in the city id will keep it one here as well we can write the next park or any park we can write it let's add this pune one it doesn't matter if city as long as city id is correct then we don't need to worry at all okay similarly like we need uh, one minute okay we one more row this one jayanti park and let's name it like one so in no particular order is important I, as long as the city id is correct for them okay so let me add all the parks and then i will click on go okay so now you can see like i have added all the parks name okay and let me click on go so once i click on go all the park name has now been inserted and you can see that uh, it is here so chitranjan park it is with city id 1 and anything with city id 1 is what it will belong to delhi okay similarly i have added the other rows as well okay so central park has city id of 3 and which city is, uh, is at 3 Kolkata so it is a park of Kolkata that's about the database and now we have to refer that into our interface so how to do that see whenever data is in the database and we have to do it so we will create a query rule for that so first of all uh, I will create a query rule for the city names all the city name I will get it okay so here I will get get all city name get all city name so this expression will get all the city names from the database so for that uh, how to create so i uh, will write a bank query entity okay and what is the entity name see entity name is the uh, name like we have to create a data store entity for that for the uh, first of all we are getting the city names right so for this city name CDT we have created we have to create a data store entity so let's create a constant and uh, in here we will name it a city name city okay and name it will be a type of data store entity and which data store so ys data store and which is the entity so city name that's it so city name entity is created and let us refer that here so as a constant 
we have referred it here now in the query uh, okay so in the query we have to write a bank query right so suppose like we want all the data no filters nothing uh, okay no logical nothing is there right we just want all the data so in that case also you have to pass at least one parameter that is paging info paging info is very important okay so a bank paging a bank paging info and one comma minus one so start index is one and minus one to get all the data so here you can see like we are getting all the data but along with that start index and identifiers are also coming so we just give it dot data so now they will contain all the data for this one okay so but the problem uh, we will we will what we will do is we will remove the dot notation from the data and we will use property for that okay so we'll use property let's remove the dot so that in case the data is not there it won't break now also it's fine okay now let's save our changes so our expression is done to get all the data from the database and now we have to refer the same in our uh, interface as well so to refer that what we will do is uh, we will uh, use local variables a bank local variables okay and here only we will use local bank city data okay it because it contains all the city in, uh, along with their ids as well why okay rule bank ys underscore get all city name okay so in the right hand side you can see that in the local variable city data i have defined all the city names has come for example at first is delhi then there is kolkata everything has come okay and we want to refer only the city name in here not along with the ids we only want the city names what we can do here is if i tell you uh, let me write the city name from that so from the data we will get the city name city name okay so how to where is all the data available all the data is available in the local bank city data if i give dot uh, city name if i give dot city name then what it will return me it will return all the city name for this one and that's what we want okay so let's remove the dot notation property okay so let's remove the dot with this and let's give it null fine and now we are ready to use the city names from the data we have extracted the city names and now we are ready to use it in our expression so in the choice labels what we will do is this local bank city name and in the choice values as well we can refer the same local bank city name so now you can see in the drop down all the data is coming here okay now uh, we will uh, now in the value we have to save this data somewhere right so let's create uh, two rule inputs like city name first of all let's store city name only okay so it will get stored in city names for now okay rule input city name done so if i select any city it will get saved in here mumbai kolkata anything is fine now that part is done let's save our changes for now now let's move on to our second part second part is what we have to get all the parks name with the help of the city ids okay so let's build an expression for that as well so let's go to expression and get park name by city id by city id so i have to get all the data from this table okay with the help of the city id okay so similarly i will create and a uh, query rule for that as well so a bank query entity we will create okay and what is the name of the entity okay we have to create a constant for the park as well let's create the constant it will be park name data store entity we will create an and ys data store park name done 
so that part is as well created so park name is here and now let's refer it cons bang uh, y is this now in the query we will refer a bang query okay so let's give the paging info first of all a bang paging info and let's see what all the data it is returning minus one i'm giving for the all the data so you can see here a uh, dot data let me give it okay so if i'm given dot data you can see a city id park name and id everything is coming but we don't want data like this we want that if i put city id one then i should get all the park for delhi that's what we want user will select a particular city and from that city they should be able to see all the data so for that what i will create is i will create a rule input like city id okay it will be number integer so here i will write a particular city id for example one and i should get all the parks for one how we can do it so in the query only just above the paging info there is something called filter so we will filter our data with the help of city id so let's filter the data a bank query filter done so here we will write a field which field is we want we want the field uh, city id so city id is here and operator should be uh, equal to and the value it should be equal to rule input city id done so now let's put one so if i put one i'm getting all the data but let's see only one park name dot okay it is not dot yeah here it is dot so i want all the park name for one if i put two uh, so you can see here i got all the park name for two if i put three i got all the park name for three right so instead of the dot notation let's make it full proof property okay and let's make it like this okay and let's save the value here as null first property is done let me add the second property as well for the park name okay and the dot will get changed to comma and then we have to give the quotes so that's it huh, now let's search it like this now it, it's fine but what if we don't give any value then let's see what it returns see even after using two two property still it is breaking why because it is expecting that this filter this rule input should be present so just to defend our code what we can write is we can write an if condition if uh, if uh, it is null right if is there is a function called null will checks the null if city id is null then you don't even need to run the query otherwise run the query that's what if contains right first is condition then true then false and if it is null then don't do anything otherwise do this so now let's test our expression and now see it works fine now we have got all the city park data as well all the park name we have got it right uh, so if i put one so i can get the park name for that right so now let's go on to our expression and here we can write one more expression like local bank park name and here it is rule bank okay why is underscore get park name by city id okay right that okay fine and now we are getting one error like it expects one parameter and what is that city id it needs right so in place of city id we have to pass the name id but what we are actually saving is city names we are not saving the city ids actually so what i will do is from this only i will make one more query like city id and from the city data only i will get their city id so let me get the data uh, for like this local bank uh, city data dot id so if i just use id like this so 
what's okay let's give it null for now so that it will huh. so you can see here all the city IDs are now coming here one three two four and the same okay and the same I will refer it in my drop down as well okay done so that's it null fine now let's me add all the thing it will be not be city uh, it will show the city name but it will save what it will save the city IDs actually so city ID it will save and that's it so let me test it once again okay ha huh. now if I select any city name Kolkata so it will select the third city for that okay so uh, there is an error coming here okay value oh value is actually it is an integer and we have kept it as a text so let us change it back to number integer and now it's fine so if I selected Pune then automatically 4 will get selected if I select 3 if I select Delhi then Delhi will get selected fine now let's move on to our second labels okay so here what we will do is we will refer our local bank park name okay and here also we will refer the local bank park name that's it so now let's see how it is behaving if I selected Delhi then okay uh, let me test it once again okay and I haven't actually put the city ID here so in the city ID it will go uh, rule input city name uh, it should not be name actually let me name it as city ID this look this makes more sense now it is fine so if I selected Delhi here so all the city of Delhi are now coming okay if I selected Kolkata here all the city all the park of uh, Kolkata are coming here if I selected Pune and parks of Pune are coming here as well right so and now let's make it park name okay so let's save that just here done okay and the value is what the value will be rule input park name that's done and here as well rule input park name that's it so that was all okay so if I selected any park now let me let me select any other city Delhi oh error okay fine okay the issue is here is that currently I have selected Delhi but in park already Saras Bagh is selected and Saras Bagh belongs to actually Pune right so it is con it is a contradiction because when I select a new city this should be empty so that a new value will get entered here but actually a value is present here right we don't want that so in, to avoid that condition what you can simply do is that in this kind of conditions when one value depends on other you can save null value to them so I will save here null value so where I have to save it local rule input park name and I will save null so whenever a new city is saved there null will also get saved in park name so that uh, it doesn't uh, uh, like you know it contain the previous values so see if I selected any city for example Mumbai I will get the park name done if I selected any other city a new value is saying and here it is saving null so that I can select any park as well that's it so uh, this was the dependent drop downs that was uh, discussed okay so we can name the section as well like city and parks okay so this was uh, all about the dependent drop downs okay so you, uh, I guess like you can try it by your own by the constant method as well or from the database as well try it both and let me know so 